This may seem like an easy question. What does a chicken eat? Or how do I feed my flock? But as you may guess from the length of this lesson, the answer is hardly simple in these modern times. The beginning of understanding of what chickens eat should start with looking at their wild counterparts. If you remember from our earlier lessons, red jungle fowl are opportunistic feeders, eating whatever fallen fruit, grains, carrion, insects, and worms they can find in the jungle. Like all wild creatures, they know when they are lacking certain nutrients and will seek out and fill up on food that satisfies those changing needs throughout the year. Domesticated chickens haven't changed much. They have the same needs and, if allowed to range outdoors and find food for themselves, will eat the exact same sorts of things. Now obviously, when chickens are brought to the backyard or to the homestead, they're not wild animals. The chicken keeper needs to figure out a way to feed them what they need to grow and thrive. And like human diets, the range of choices and options available are wide, from totally natural diets to entirely synthesized ones. Now my approach to keeping chickens, as you have seen so far, is to tend towards the natural let them follow their design side of the spectrum. So even so, I will try to be even-handed and give you as much information as I can so that you can make the best choice for your flock. We've got to go through some history to understand this more in the round, so to speak, though, so let's dive into some chicken feeding history. Chicken feeding has a long and storied past, as these birds have been domesticated for thousands of years. In early America, many chickens weren't fed that much, even if at all. They were instead left to free range to get everything they needed from the land, just like their wild ancestors and just like the native prairie chickens. The earliest mentions I could find of feeding birds in American farming was tossing handfuls of leftover grain on the ground to train the birds to come back at night. These chickens of the past laid fewer eggs a year and grew more slowly, just like many heritage breeds still do today. As an aside, I strongly believe that those chickens were far healthier, less disease-prone, and laid more nutritious eggs, and grew more nutritious meat, which far made up for the fact that there was less of it. I think they were just generally, generally better birds for the small-scale farmer. Anyway, then as they always do, times changed. With artificial vitamins, chicklins were quickly hustled indoors, crammed together, and fed high-calorie vitamin-laced food that made them bulk up quickly and still not die, even though they never saw the light of day. Chicken keeping soon shifted from the smaller backyard flock of dozens to industrial sized flocks of thousands. Thousands of birds kept indoors obviously can't be fed from the land, so industrialized feeding regimens formulated from commodity corn, wheat, and soy and their associated byproducts was also begun en masse. Though chickens truly thrive on grass and grubs and bugs and fallen grain, they can exist, lay eggs, and fatten up on vitamin laced and medicated corn, soy, and wheat byproducts. To deal with this artificial environment, some trade secret industrialized strains of birds like the Cornish Cross and the Production Leghorn were specifically developed for the modern world. Some see this story as an inspirational tale of man's domination over nature to feed the world. I think it's safe to say I don't. <laughs> so now, let's enter the backyard chicken grower in the modern age. We have inherited a strange chicken world and been given odd information on how to feed our flocks. We are told that we get chickens, then we go to the feed store and buy a big bag of chicken ration mystery pellets, put the coop in a nice spot, make sure the feeder's always full, and we're set. But as a homesteader trying to regain self-sufficiency, I have questioned this narrative from the start. When I got my first flock, I couldn't rectify feeding them the corn and soy byproduct labeled as chicken ration. I had purposely gotten heritage breeds in the hope that we might be able to feed them entirely from our land, as well as allow them to reproduce. Anyone else who's also striving to be off-grid or self-sufficient will understand how much I didn't want my flock's food, or mine, to be dependent on expensive outside inputs. So now, years and many birds later, I've developed my own way to feed my birds. I've brought precisely one bag of chicken ration, and that was to feed my pigeons. So before we get into how to feed your birds, I want to assure you that you have many options, and the best one is not the same for everyone. If you don't have a lot of land at your disposal, or just want to feed by the bag, you know it will work and don't have to think about it beyond that. Or, if you want to try to figure this out for yourself and are willing to do the effort to gather materials and research, it can also work. You'll probably find that a lot of online articles will make it seem like appropriately feeding your flock without a prepackaged ration is impossible unless you've got a university degree in animal nutrition. But, as a homesteader who actually raises breeds and keeps chickens every day year-round and does it without pellets or fancy letters after my name, I'd like to assure you that you too can do it and figure it out for yourself. So all that said, let's get into some ways to feed a flock. We'll start with defining some common terms, then delve into some of the wide ranges of options of how to provide nutrition to your birds. I'd like to emphasize that these options are not set, but rather points in a spectrum, a spectrum that all of us will have to decide where we'd like to be based on what we know and what resources we have on hand. 
So let's start with some terms to make this make sense. Let's start with ration. This is a general term for the entirety of the feed consumed by a chicken throughout the day. Starter ration is a feed specifically intended for chicks. Complete feed is a term to describe ration that contains all the elements considered necessary for chicken nutrition. Pasture is a fenced off area intended for chickens to forage within confinement. To forage is to seek out and gain nutrition from the land itself. Fodder is grains that are purposely sprouted for the sake of increasing their nutrition and multiplying their mass. Scratch is whole grains and cracked corn, specifically for the purpose of tossing on the ground and allowing chickens to scratch for it. Pellets are chicken ration that has been compressed into pelleted form. Crumbles are pelleted food that has been partially smashed. Grit is insoluble pieces of rock that is ingested by chickens. These travel to the gizzard where they are used to crush up whole grains and green plant material. Feed stores usually sell granite grit, but any small rocks can do. Calcium supplement is something you'll also see sold at a feed store. It's often made out of crushed oyster shells, aragonite, or limestone intended as a mineral supplement for strong eggshell development. Medicated feed is food that is specifically made to contain medication, typically fed to chicks as a measure of prevention against diseases. Be sure to read instructions given with each type of feed and don't distribute this medicated feed indiscriminately.